2.3 diesel turbo uh, getting oil into the center valley. Points you need to check are the fittings for the lines that go from the oil pump over to the valve cover. This fitting right here, the line comes over here and goes in right there. That one's not really leaking right now. The one that's really leaking is this one over here at the bowl right here. As you can see, these leaks are filling up the cavity in the V and it will drain back down over top of the transmission. Uh, some people might misdiagnose where the leak is coming from if they don't see this. Uh, the best course of action is to replace all four fittings. So, it'd be this fitting here where it goes on to the valve cover, follow the line. And you got this fitting here, which is the major leak right now. This fitting here for the other line, which goes over to the other valve cover. Place all four fittings. If you want, you can replace the lines too. The lines aren't normally what's leaking. It's usually the fittings. And uh, that should solve that leak. Uh, if you want to stop dripping oil on people's driveways, on your driveways, and you're getting a leak, that's coming around the middle of the truck. This could be where it is. Yeah, you see there's a puddle of oil back there too. It's making it all the way back. And I think there might be a hole in the bell housing. I'm not sure. It runs out in the center of the transmission on top of the transmission. It just makes a mess, especially on concrete driveways. I believe this is a uh, 98 or 9973, right around there. Um, but this is, a, this is a common leak area after, after it gets a lot of mileage built up on it. But that should fix the problem. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks.